Krystian Dziok, Cybersport PL, a ze mną Snappy po przegranym meczu z Virtus Pro. Snappy, you've just come back from IM Dallas and you have to play another tournament. Do you maybe feel tired because of that? Yeah, people are super jet lagged. People are tired. Uh, we flew all of us economy back, you know, no sleep in the plane, so it's hard to avoid jet lag. Uh, there was two people waking up in the middle of the night and I had trouble sleeping also. So it's been a long day, but I'm proud of everyone in the last game because people were like being good teammates towards each other. We all know that today was a day where we could give 70%, but we gave the 70% we had and that's what we could do. Like maybe going further in the tournament, we will sleep a bit better and we can give 80, 90% on the second and third day, hopefully. So yeah, but we are tired, yeah. So what can you say about your first match? I mean, I think in the first match there was a little bit of frustration. We talked about it that now that we are here, it's it's hard for us to be 100%. There's no way we can do it. We just need to try our hardest and give what we have left in the tank. We did that in the second match. It sadly wasn't enough, but I'm proud of everyone about how they mentally reacted. So do you feel any differences between playing the teams from Africa? Uh, no, I think they, to be honest, have adopted a European style. I think everyone watches these not out here videos and demos today. So a lot of teams have different styles, but like they still play kind of similar to a European style. So can you say that Bravado surprised you with something or maybe not? Um, I think they, they in general played uh, pretty good pretty good tactical CS. Uh, so, but does it surprise me? No, because we, we checked some of their demos quick before the match and we could see that they, they did understand how to play CS. So what went, sorry, what went wrong on the second match against Virtus Pro? Uh, I would say mostly individual stuff, like I played super bad uh, individually, I, I know other people also played bad, but I think that uh, it doesn't really matter the result, uh, the good thing was that we were there mentally, we tried our hardest, we haven't played CS for five days since Sunday in the Dallas final, so obviously people might not be 100% individually there. Uh, and also we are tired, of course, so I think we, we did what we could and I'm certain we will grow and play better in the tournament. So what is your general take on this tournament? Do you feel like the favorites and who do you think may be the hardest opponent uh, in next days? I think we are uh, the fa favorites for sure. I think Force and uh, VP is probably the two other big favorites. Okay, so being favorites is a big pressure for you? No, there is no pressure because after the Dallas win, we are just going here. We obviously, we didn't expect to just win Dallas, but when we won it, uh, now we go here, there's no pressure. It's the last season, we just got to enjoy ourselves. We ended the season really good in Dallas. Uh, this was a tournament where if we had a bad result in Dallas, this was going to be important for us to get ranking points. But now, obviously, it's not important for us anymore. But we still want to finish off strong. We're also in Katowice, where Pavel is uh, close from. We want to do good in his home city, you know. Uh, so we want to try to finish the, the season off strong, but we are also tired. Okay, so let's talk a bit more about the major. You made it to the Paris, but the final results during RMR was pretty shaky. Were you afraid that you may not qualify? Uh, yeah, of course, when you go down 0-2 it's hard, but overall in this team I'm really proud of what we've done after we acquired Nerds, top forward EPL, uh, made it through Armour, made it through Challenger 3-0, then we had a slip up and we kind of were able to pinpoint what went wrong in the Legend stage and then we won Dallas, so I don't think we can say we did bad with Nerds. I'm, I'm proud of what me and also the boys have done this season, uh, now Coach Yitzel. On the Challenger stage you won every match, but on the Legend stage you managed to beat only Bad News Eagles. What, what went wrong on the Legend stage? Outside of the st server stuff went wrong. We didn't eat properly, we didn't prioritize sleep properly. It was, uh, we failed outside the game, not inside the game. Okay, so the fact as you as a player played on the last CSGO Major was important for you? Not really, uh, like there's gonna be CS2. I don't care if I'm playing the first, the middle or the last major. To me, a major is a major, so it, it didn't mean anything super special. But of course, it means something to get to the major. Every major matters, but I don't think any major matters more to me. Okay, so before going to Dallas, did you change something in your mindset? Yeah. We changed. Uh, we talked a lot about what can we do outside the game. How can we optimize our sleep? How can we optimize our food? Of course, here in Karavitz it's impossible with this sleep thing because we're jet lagged. But like we weren't of like we tried to optimize what we could, and I think it went good. So, so do you know what you have to improve before your next game? 
like here. We don't need to improve on anything apart from the fact that we need to rest, we need to sleep mm -hmm. and that's it, we need to sleep. Okay, so let's back to the Dallas. I'm gonna ask, despite the grand final, obviously the most important match for you guys, the hardest one was definitely against Face Club. What can you tell me about this match? It was a crazy match. It was a match that I think everyone will remember for the rest of their careers. That last map with a huge crowd, it was... Uh, and was, it's probably gonna go down as one of the most, one of the legendary maps that was played in CSGO and I'm super happy that we were part of it and we came out as the winner. Okay, in previous year you nearly won Dallas with Snacks. Few days ago you finally, you finally made it happen. What this victory means for you? It means a lot. I never won a big tournament in CSGO, so for me it mattered a lot. I would have loved to also win it with Snacks. He did everything he could and he was the best player in the final. Uh, I love the big guy, but uh, <laughs> sadly it didn't come that year, but I'm super happy we did it uh, this year. So let's talk about the future. How do you feel about CS2? What's your thoughts? I think that for now there is some things that can probably still be improved. The game is not released yet. Uh, we'll see how the smokes and flashes are. I have a feeling that some of it might need to be adjusted. But uh, it's going to be a new game and you need to keep an open mindset. And if you keep an open mindset, I think uh, the transition will be easy. So do you feel like the whole tournament is going to change in the future? Mm, I think the players that have an open mindset and they welcome CS2 will do good. And I think the players that are stopping and whine about like the fact that the game has changed will do bad. So it's all about mindset. Okay, that's all. Thank you very much Thank and you. see you next time.